Hi guys, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. This is going to be including a soft glam wearable everyday look for the makeup and then a very easy hijab style and a very simple and very comfortable outfit. So let's get right into it. So first of all, I'm going to be whitening my teeth. Now I've been doing this recently using the Vanity Planet teeth whitening set, which I really, really like. You don't need to be sitting there for ages, like it's only 15 minutes and you get two syringes in the box and you can use it over six times and you can see results within a couple days it's really really good I love it now my teeth aren't that discolored but I do get a bit of discoloration around my my canines and my back teeth so this really really helped with that sometimes I feel like I can't smile I've got a 75% discount on this in the description box so make sure you do go and check it out Next, I'm going to be putting a bit of tea tree oil on my spots because I've got some inflamed spots right now. Really horrible breakout, let me not even talk about it. Then I'm using my favourite toner which is the Salima Skincare Tonic Toner and then the Oil Control Cream which has been great for me during my breakouts. If you want to know more details about this, go ahead and check out my website. I've made a whole post about how I dealt with my breakouts. I'm using an orange concealer to cover my darker areas, so my blemishes, my under eyes, around my mouth area. Um, and then I'm going to put foundation on top of that. I'm using the Fit Me foundation mixed with the Milani foundation. Um, I have a review on the Milani foundation, it's in my description box, so make sure you check it out. I'm blending this all using the Sigma contour brush, but I love it as a foundation brush though, so I, I've been using that. Next, I'm doing the usual, I'm powdering eyelids with MAC Studio Fix Powder, then I'm going with a warm brown tone in my crease, and then I'm putting a bit of my Illa Masca gel liner on my, just a little bit on the outer lash line, and then I'm just blending that out so it can look very soft. I'm going for a very soft look, no eyeliner. The only dramatic thing will probably be my lashes, other than that, it's just a very soft wearable look. You don't have to put lashes if you don't want to, but I love, love wearing lashes recently, and these are my favorites by Fatiha's Lashes, these are called Hefa and you can get a discount using Habiba10 um, absolutely love these, we'll have the website for them down below also uh, a link with all makeup details will be also down below so make sure you check that out I know a lot of people are always asking me what did you use for this, what did you use for that I've got an entire list with all product details, okay? alright next I'm going in with the Fit Me Concealer in the usual areas and I'm using this sponge I absolutely love this sponge guys if you watch my beauty haul you'll know that I recently got it from beautybecosmetics.com I absolutely love it I would really recommend it Okay, so after blending that out, I'm just using a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder just to go over the areas that I've concealed. Next, I'm going to be powdering the rest of my face using my MAC powder in C40. And then I'm just going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm doing my eyebrows with Balm Sci Palette by The Balm as always and I'm just very lightly filling them in. I accidentally didn't film me doing my lips but I've got all my lip product details in the description box so make sure you check out the link that I've put there with all the product details. I'm using the usual Becca highlighter which is my absolute favourite in the usual areas as you can see and then I'm using the um, Coco contour palette by Too Faced which I love because the shade is so cool toned and it's so light if I'm going in for an everyday look this is just perfect because it's not too dramatic Now I'm just going over with a puff just to like get rid of any oiliness because my ring light literally catches any kind of oiliness on my face. And that's my makeup pretty much done. I hope you guys like that makeup. Um, we're going to move on now for, to the hijab after I've finished posing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, Habiba, moving on. All right, so now with my hijab, I'm going to be using this Vole Chic hijab, the 
the chiffon hijabs you know i love these guys you, you already know i love these so much i'm using this light gray color i'm not using any pins for the style literally just flipping it over if you want to use pins go ahead i kind of love the style i love the no pin style recently Next, I'm going to be wearing this midi dress by Zara and these jeans from New Look. And I'm going to be wearing this jacket, which is my sister's, but I think she got it from H&M, the men's section. Then I'm wearing the usual shoes, which is my Air Forces by Nike. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you really like this kind of get ready with me with an outfit, let me know if you want me to do some more. I'm really thinking of doing a more dramatic look with my black dress. Let me know if you want to see that. Thank you so much for watching. I will speak to you guys soon and goodbye. My La Masca gel liner on my just a little bit on the outer lash line and then I'm just blending that out so it can look very soft. I'm going for a very soft look, no eyeliner. The only dramatic thing will probably be my lashes. Other than that, it's just a very soft wearable look. You don't have to put lashes if you don't want to, but I love, love wearing lashes recently and these are my favourites by Fatiha's Lashes. These are called Hafer and you can get a discount using Habiba10. Um, absolutely love these. We'll have the website for them down below. Also, uh, a link with all makeup details will be also down below, so make sure you check that out. I know a lot of people are always asking me, what did you use for this, what did you use for that? I've got an entire list with all product details, okay? <laughs> Alright, next I'm going in with the Fit Me Concealer in the usual areas. And I'm using this sponge, I absolutely love this sponge guys. If you watch my beauty haul, you'll know that I recently got it from beautybecosmetics.com. I absolutely love it, I would really recommend it. And talk about it then I'm using my favorite toner which is the Salima skincare tonic toner and then the oil control cream which has been great for me during my breakouts if you want to know more details about this go ahead and check out my website I've made a whole post about how I dealt with my breakouts I'm using an orange concealer to cover my darker areas, so my blemishes, my under eyes, around my mouth area, um, and then I'm going to put foundation on top of that. I'm using the Fit Me foundation mixed with the Milani foundation. Um, I have a review on the Milani foundation, it's in my description box, so make sure you check it out. I'm blending this all using the Sigma contour brush, but I love it as a foundation brush though, so I, I've been using that. Next, I'm doing the usual, I'm powdering eyelids with MAC Studio Fix Powder, then I'm going with a warm brown tone in my crease, and then I'm putting a bit Hi guys, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. This is going to be including a soft, glam, wearable everyday look for the makeup, and then a very easy hijab style, and a very simple and very comfortable outfit. So let's get right into it. So first of all, I'm going to be whitening my teeth. Now I've been doing this recently using the Vanity Planet teeth whitening set, which I really, really like. You don't need to be sitting there for ages, like it's only 15 minutes, and you get two syringes in the box and you can use it over six times, and you can see results within a couple days. It's really, really good, I love it. Now my teeth aren't that discolored, but I do get a bit of discoloration around my, my canines and my back teeth, so this really, really helped with that. Sometimes I feel like I can't smile I've got a 75% discount on this in the description box, so make sure you do go and check it out. Next, I'm going to be putting a bit of tea tree oil on my spots because I've got some inflamed spots right now. Really horrible breakout, let me know. I've got all my lip product details in the description box, so make sure you check out the link that I've put there with all the product details. I'm using the usual Becca highlighter, which is my absolute favourite, in the usual areas, as you can see. And then I'm using the... Um, Coco Contour Palette by Too Faced, which I love because the shade is so cool toned and it's so light. If I'm going in for an everyday look, this is just perfect because it's not too dramatic. Now I'm just going over with a puff just to like get rid of any oiliness because my ring light literally catches any kind of oiliness on my face. And that's my makeup pretty much done. I hope you guys like that makeup. Um, we're going to move on now for, to the hijab after I've finished posing. A little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Habiba, moving on. All right, so now with my hijab, I'm going to be using this Vale Chic hijab, the, the chiffon hijabs. You know I love these. Okay, so after blending that out, I'm just using a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder just to go over the areas that I've concealed. Next, I'm going to be powdering the rest of my face using my MAC powder in C40. And then I'm just going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm doing my eyebrows with Balm Side Palette by The Balm as always and I'm just very lightly filling them in. I accidentally didn't film me doing my lips, but I've got